Hello and welcome to another video from FilmsByChris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description of the video. Continuing with our series on modding Doom with Zscript examples. You can go to my GitLab page. There's a link in the description of this video for all the examples for all the videos in this series as well as bonus material. Uh, if you go into examples here and we go down, today we're going to be looking at the custom player. We're going to create a custom player. Very simple, but you can play around with a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and create this example from scratch. But you could just download this, go into that directory and give it a try. Uh, so first things first, we need our Z script. So you could put all your code in here, as I've said in every video, but it's better to break it up. Here we're just saying the version of Zscript we're using, and that is important. It's more important than you would think. <laughs> um, and then we're going to say include, and we're going to include our player script file. Next, we're going to create our player script file. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say class, and we're going to create a class. We're going to call it Doom Player New. Oops, I just realized I missed an S there. That's why things aren't colored right. And it's going to be a Doom player. So we are creating a new object, a, a new actor uh, called Doom player new. And it's taken on the attributes of a Doom player. So at this point, it's going to act just like a regular Doom player. So let's go ahead and change something. I'm going to change the default. And I am going to say speed. And we're going to set that default is one. I'm going to set it to three. It's going to make our Doom player move very fast. Now, at this point, uh, we need to do one more thing. We need to create a map info file. I plan on doing a lot more tutorials on the map info file. Uh, but for right now, in here, we're just going to put game info. And then sort of inside the curly braces, we're going to say player class. And we're going to add in what we named it. So it was Doom player new, right? Now, we should be able to run this code just by saying gzdoom-file dot, meaning the current directory. Now when I move, look how fast I'm moving. I'm just flying around the level, almost too fast. I could barely play like this if I wanted to. Okay, so we changed one attribute, but we can change all the attributes of the Doom player. Now, if we go to my GitLab project, again, link in the description, and instead of going in the examples directory, we go to the extras, we can go to actors, and then we can scroll down to Doom player. So this is the default settings, all the default settings for the Doom player. So we can take any of these values and change them. We can change the health, the radius, the height, the mass, uh, the pain chance. Uh, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and change what weapons he starts with. So we have here start item, pistol, fist, clip, 50, right? So we have 50 bullets. So let's go ahead and we will go back into our player code. And now I'm using Vim as my text error, but you can use whatever text error you like. I'm going to turn his speed down to two. So he's double twice as fast as, the, as uh, we normally are, but here we're saying start item pistol. Well, instead of pistol, let me go ahead and change that to plasma rifle. Yeah, plasma rifle. Now, if I start the game up, you can see I have the plasma rifle, but I don't have any cells for it. So when I click, it goes to the fist because I don't have an, a pistol because I removed the pistol from the startup items. So now I'm starting with a fist and a plasma rifle, and I'm starting with a clip a 50, but that doesn't help me with the plasma rifle. So let's go ahead and change this here where it says clip. Let's change that to cell. And instead of 50, let's give us 300 because I think that's the default max that you can have. I think if I set it higher, it's just going to go back down to 300. Now we run that and we have started with the plasma rifle and we've got 300 cells. And if I hit two, I can't get to the pistol. I don't have a pistol. I can hit one and go to my fist. So let's go ahead and go back in here and actually, let's change something else as well. Uh, again, looking at the default stuff, you can see that you have weapon slots. You can change the weapon slots. So for example, we have pistol at slot two. So in here, I can change this. And instead of weapon slot pistol, I can put the plasma rifle there. So now, well, let's actually add back in the pistol. So we're going to say start item, and we'll say pistol. And we'll also add back in a start item of clip, and we'll give ourselves 50 of those. So now, if I go into here, my plasma rifle is at spot two. So if I hit two, I can't get to my pistol. Even if I type in a cheat code to get all the weapons, I can't get to the pistol because I overwrote where it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do here 
is simply where we have the weapon slot, we want to do comma and add in pistol. So now, and that's supposed to be a comma, we're saying weapon slot two is the plasma rifle and the pistol. So just like with the super shotgun, you can hit three and it will rotate back and forth between the shotgun and the super shotgun, or one can be the fist or chainsaw if you have both. Now, two is where our plasma rifle is. So we're gonna start off, I have the plasma rifle here, I hit two, it goes to the pistol. I hit two again, it goes back. If I type in IDKFA to bring up all my weapons and keys, I can hit six, or I can hit five. Now if I hit six, it still brings up the the, the plasma rifle because that's in the defaults, because um, I didn't change six. But if I hit two, it will also bring up the plasma rifle and rotate between the pistols. So you can change all your weapons, your start weapons, what you have when you start, just by going through the defaults here and changing them. And again, you can change other things like uh, your animation frames, even though you don't really see yourself, but you can, whatever attributes the Doom player has, you can now change, like, for example, again, health. So if I go in here just as one last example, player, I can say his health, and instead of 100, I can say 10. And now when I start the level, you can see I only have 10 health. I can go in here and I can change it to 200. And I can start with 200, which is the max. If you want to go higher than that, you have to change that other places. But that's it for this tutorial. Again, link in the description to my project with all the example code, uh, the example code that we just created, as well as the extras for all the actors. So you can look at that. And uh, I hope you found this useful. Please visit filmedbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description there. You can search through all my videos. I have plenty up. Lots of Doom related videos over the years. And I hope that you have a great day.